What's going on guys, I'm Entity Maze, and in just a few weeks from when I'm recording this, Pokemon for Movie 21 Everyone's Story will be released in Japan, and seeming as I haven't made any discussion of the movie since its reveal, I thought it would be best to give a discussion on my overall thoughts of this movie so far, before watching it. Also, I have actually gotten quite a few comments asking why I haven't done a discussion of the movie since that reveal, so my thoughts will answer that question too. And with that intro now stated, let's finally jump right into this discussion. So firstly, let's start with my pros, aka the positives. Number 1, I love the art style and animation for this movie. It's breathtaking, for sure going to be one of the most beautiful Pokemon movies ever, and maybe even animated piece from Pokemon overall. I cannot express just how gorgeous this looks to me. We also have this new looking Ash which really suits him in my opinion. To find out more why, you can check out my original discussion if you haven't yet. It's such a nice reference to previous series too. Just one nitpick I have regarding him though is that his eyes look too far apart, but I think I could easily adjust to that much like I did for Ash's Sun and Moon phase. Moving on, I also really like how this movie will be a continuation from Movie 20, the movie's now having its own alternate universe. As I found from the Sinna movies, some of my personal favourite Pokemon movies of all time, but I enjoyed them more simply because they had continuity leading up to one big story. So, I'm sure this movie can impress me with its continuity too, and seeming as Movie 20 was an alternate story from the original series, this can also lead to some interesting alternate what-if scenarios in the Johto region. Plus, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I thoroughly enjoyed Movie 20 from start to finish. Definitely an underrated movie. So, obviously I'm a little bit excited to see if that Movie 20 will continue on a bit. And that's basically all I can say for this point. So finally for my last pro regarding this movie, I actually quite like the looks of each companion for this movie. They all have their own unique personality, such as a guy who cannot stop lying, to a street performer, etc. By far though, Lisa's character has to be the most interesting one for me, because 1. She actually used to go to high school, so I can see some very fun scenes of her going to school before becoming a trainer, and 2. Her actual personality is kinda cute, along with her looks. <laughs> so, you know, all of this already is a good start. And to continue on with this point, I also really adore how each of these companions are ferried compared to any of Ash's other companions for a region. And what I mean by that is that Ash has middle age companions, old age companions, and young age companions, which is a very nice and refreshing twist as we are just used to seeing 10 year olds to be as companions. And this for sure will make for interesting interactions between them and Ash, as the older ones can mentor Ash while Ash mentors the younger ones. That'd be pretty fun. But with all of those pros now stated, let's now move on to the cons. So firstly, let me start off by saying that I don't like how this movie will be focused on Lugia. We already got a movie dedicated to it, and even some Pokemon anime episodes. So in my opinion, there isn't any need for a Lugia movie, which just makes me feel ugh about the plot we got in this movie. It could have been just Sorora. And talking about that plot too, the actual plot we received for this movie looks quite boring to me. Like, I'm even struggling to say other things for this point, as it's just that unappealing too. Me, which is quite unfortunate as the plot is a major part that gets me hooked for a movie. And finally for my cons regarding this movie, I am worried how there is 5 companions. Yes I said I like their personalities and it's varied, but what I mean is that I'm worried that some characters won't get the screen time they deserve simply because there is a lot of characters. And as we've seen from the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, they have trouble focusing on all 5 of the companions, so what makes this movie any different? Not to forget too far from the trailers and teaser summaries we have received, they focused a lot on Lisa, Ash and the Mystery Girl due to the Mystery Girl having, you know, mystery around her, which this is just big evidence that they are the only stars we should only really care about for this movie, much like how for the Sun and Moon anime, they focus more on Ash and Lily, not focusing more on the other characters. So can you blame me for being worried that we won't get to see these other characters get much screen time? I just want to see everyone get equal screen time and even development. Now, I have seen some people try to counter this argument, such as Infinity War had 60 characters and they all had equal screen time and their own story. So, I bet this movie can do the same. So why are you worried, Ben? But, 
let me remind you that those Infinity War characters did finally got into development and personality simply because they had other movies beforehand to build up to their character, whereas these characters in this Pokemon movie are completely new. Plus, you know, there is the Sun and Moon thing like I said, and each movie is completely different. So, yeah, that was a weird argument someone used against me. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I can really say for this point. I'm just worried that, you know, we won't get to see these other characters. So overall, with all of that now stated, can I say I'm excited or not excited for this movie? And to be honest, the answer is yes and no. It's just that split for me. Like I said, the story looks unappealing, but at the same time, I'm so interested to see what they will do with these companions. So, it's a bit of a weird situation for me. <laughs> and I guess that's one reason why I haven't been making videos on this movie once news comes out, as sometimes there would have been positive videos and then negative ones right after. But how I express my thoughts in this video though, definitely was the best choice. It was a long wait, but I mean, at least I got it out towards the end. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say for this discussion. So, let me know in the comments down below what you actually think of this movie though. I'd love to hear. As that pretty much now wraps up for everything I had to say regarding this video. And I'm gonna warn you now, the next videos on this channel will be highly centered on Pokemon movies. So, yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video and excited for more videos on the Pokemon movies, then be sure to leave a like and a subscribe for future Pokemon content. It helps out a ton. You'll also become a member of the Entity Squad. For now, this is Entity Maze, signing out. Thank you for watching.